The Independent Counsel team is also busy digging up the details in its far-reaching probe into the corruption scandal that has rocked the nation. Some new figures were under the spotlight on Thursday as the investigation deepens. Huang Ojun reports. The Independent Counsel team questioned three key figures on Thursday, each related to different aspects of the scandal. They are Professor Nam Gung Kwon, the former Dean of Admissions at Iwa Women's University, accused of using his position to have Choi Jun-shi's daughter Chong Yura be admitted to the school and be given preferential treatment and grading. Former Presidential Senior Secretary for Health and Welfare Kim Jin Soo, in connection with allegations that the presidential office pressured the National Pension Service to support a controversial merger between Samsung CNT and Jail Industries in 2015. And the newly appointed Vice Culture Minister Song Soo Gun, who is being grilled over allegations the presidential office created a blacklist of cultural figures who were deemed critical of the government. There was some controversy over whether the Independent Council team has jurisdiction to investigate the matter of the blacklist, especially after the team said they will possibly summon former presidential chief of staff Kim Gi Chun and culture minister Cho Yun Son as suspects. During the briefing, the team spokesperson Yi Gu Chol clarified the matter. We found Lee suggesting systematic and wrongful interference regarding personnel transfer related to the so-called blacklist. So we're following Article 15 of the Special Law, which stipulates related incidents discovered during the probe are also subject to investigation. Spokesperson Lee also explained what he meant by requesting a new arrest warrant to bring Choi Sun Shil in on new charges. According to Lee, Choi is under arrest by the warrant requested by the prosecution's Special Investigation Bureau. Meaning, the team can only summon Che as a witness, in which case it is not mandatory for her to comply, and she cannot be forced to be investigated for more than 48 hours. Conversely, if the independent counsel team would request a new arrest warrant, Che would be forced to appear for questioning, and the team would be able to keep her for 20 days. Meanwhile, the Justice Ministry says it has officially begun the process to have Choi Soon Shi's daughter Chong Yura extradited from Denmark. It sent extradition requests on Thursday afternoon to both the Foreign Affairs Ministry of Korea and to the Danish prosecution. Hwang Ojun, Arirang News.